Adam Smith was a renowned economist and philosopher who laid the foundation for the modern field of economics. In his famous work, The Wealth of Nations, he outlined four canons of taxation that he believed would make a good tax system. Four Canons of Taxation These canons are still relevant today in the Indian economy and are as follows. Canon of Equality The first canon of taxation states that taxes should be based on the taxpayer's ability to pay. This means that those who earn more should pay more in taxes, while those who earn less should pay less. The goal is to ensure that the tax burden is distributed fairly across all individuals and that the tax system is not regressive. For example, in India, the government follows a progressive tax system where individuals with higher incomes pay a higher percentage of their income in taxes than those with lower incomes. Canon of Certainty The second canon of taxation states that taxes should be predictable and certain. Taxpayers should know exactly how much they will owe in taxes and when they are due. This allows them to plan their finances accordingly and avoid any surprises. For example, in India, the government sets deadlines for taxpayers to file their income tax returns and pay their taxes, and failure to do so can result in penalties. Canon of Convenience The third canon of taxation states that taxes should be easy to pay and collect. Taxpayers should be able to pay their taxes without too much hassle or inconvenience. Additionally, the government should be able to collect taxes efficiently and at a low cost. For example, in India, taxpayers can pay their taxes online through the government's e-filing portal or by visiting a local tax office. Canon of Economy The fourth canon of taxation states that taxes should be collected at the lowest possible cost. This means that the government should strive to minimize the cost of collecting taxes and avoid wasteful spending. For example, in India, the government has implemented various measures to simplify the tax system and reduce the administrative costs of collecting taxes. In conclusion, Adam Smith's four canons of taxation continue to shape the Indian tax system. The canons of equality, certainty, convenience and economy ensure that the tax system is fair, predictable, easy to use and cost-effective. By adhering to these principles, the Indian government can maintain a stable tax system that benefits both taxpayers and the economy as a whole.